Over the weekend, it was reported that Toya Holness had stepped down from her position as Global Press Secretary less than a year after taking on the role in the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's team. Ms. Holness' departure makes her the latest of at least 12 of Harry and Meghan's top staff to leave since 2018. Ms. Holness joined Harry and Meghan's company Archwell in October 2020. She initially worked as part of the couple's public relations team, before being appointed as Global Press Secretary in March 2021. She was to utilize her degree in strategic PR from the University of Southern California to oversee their PR on both sides of the Atlantic. According to royal journalist Roya Nikar, the couple and Ms. Holness had recently parted company but no official explanation was given. Beatrice Cardenas, a congressional candidate for California took to Twitter to mock the latest staff departure from the Sussexes team. Ms. Cardenas, a Republican who ran for election in 2020, responded to a user called Toure Bakahai who had written, Global, Press Secretary, crying with laughter emoji, does their fantasy world involve an intergalactic press secretary, too? What a couple of clowns. As if no output showbiz wannabes subsidized by inherited wealth even need staff. Ms. Cardenas, who ran for election in Meghan's home state, claims the couple have an obsession with using the word global in relation to their brand and image. However, she claims that most people in California, where the couple settled down after quitting royal duties, are not aware of them. She wrote, they're obsessed with the word global. Meanwhile, most Californians have no idea who they are. After quitting their roles as senior royals, the couple eventually settled in Montecito, Santa Barbara. They live in an 11 million pounds seven acre property with their two children Archie and Lilibet. Almost two years after moving into the home, Prince Harry has stressed that he has settled in nicely. He told NBC's Today Show in a recent interview about the Invictus Games, home for me now, for the time being, is in the States. He added, we've been welcomed with open arms and have such a great community up in Santa Barbara. Richard Miniards, a British journalist who pens a gossip column for the Montecito Journal, said, Harry and Meghan haven't become part of the community, and I think a lot of people are bristling about that really. It's such a lovely place to go out and they've been a no-show. There is this big question of, where are they?